Hi, my name is Sam Dhanashekran and welcome to this uh, video uh, which is part of the database lessons series and uh, uh, in the last video which is uh, titled what is a table we saw the overview of the structure of a table and in this video we will uh, uh, look uh, into more details of the structure of the table actually uh, this was the last video where we saw uh, you know uh, mr mcdonald uh, creating like uh, two pieces of paper with uh, the name animals and plants and uh, listing out what he has and uh, now we go to this slide where uh, he had listed out more details and uh, right now we will just uh, uh, take the table animals into our consideration and look into the various elements that are part of the structure of the table like uh, we discussed in the previous video we know that uh, we have uh, columns right name is a column type is a column birth underscore date is a column consumption is a column average amount of milk per day that's a column and then we have uh, rows right so uh, since we are going to uh, carefully examine uh, all the aspects of a table uh, what uh, uh, I've done is I've listed out the names of the animals that <coughs> was uh, given to me by Mr. McDonald's or I can say and uh, the type of the animal and then uh, uh, their birth date and then uh, how many calories they need every day and uh, the amount of milk in gallons or liter they produce per day okay I honestly I've never <laughs> ran a farm so I don't know what is the average amount of milk a, a cow produces in a day so uh, if two gallons seems to be of uh, very high and unbelievable just make it into liters okay even that's not the case then you know let's skip that but then again uh, the point is uh, we are gonna uh, talk about the various aspects of the table okay so we know about columns and then we know about rows okay but then there are uh, uh, more elements that uh, are part of the structure of the table for example the type of data that can be uh, written in a column right so for example this column name we can specify that of type uh, text right I'm just uh, using the generic word text so meaning that it allows texts to be part of this column okay uh, the popular type for uh, uh, these type of values is uh, where car I'll, I'll talk about those things later okay just just remember text and uh, there is actually uh, you know uh, when I say text uh, take it in the general uh, meaning you know this is a text right and then we'll uh, talk about all the types of the data uh, in, in subsequent uh, videos since this is uh, just the third video in this series I don't want to get too technical into that okay and then uh, the data type for this column type uh, again we can 
make it as text so that you know uh, we are just gonna insert only text uh, characters and then this one interesting it's birth date right so there is a special type called date right in most of the databases uh, and we can configure this as date what that will do is if someone mistakenly enters instead of this if someone mistakenly enters uh, the value like now let's say Sam here the database would not just allow it it says uh, this doesn't look like a date so you specify when you create the table you specify what type of data that each column can hold okay so which acts as a, 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 a protective measure so that you do not load wrong values a wrong type of values into that like when uh, when you read data from this column you know all we need to expect is some kind of date value something that fits into the date value not like you know, the birth rate for Mia is Sam no it doesn't make sense so each and every column has uh, the type of data that it can hold assigned to it and let's take this conception you know all we uh, could expect here is just some numbers so this could be of a number type right when I say number just take the generic meaning of number because there are lots and lots of uh, types uh, which can hold a number for example integer is there so uh, just right now you know we are still at the beginning uh, stage of this database lessons so everything is general and then uh, here you know the amount of milk per day again this could be a number right so we basically define the type of the columns here if you notice these there are no values here so in the database world these are called as null values that means the value is not defined okay the value doesn't exist and to represent that it's called null and remember this is not equal to this right a value doesn't exist is not equal to another value which doesn't exist they are just called null that's it a null is not equal to another null okay I'll uh, explain why that is in the in the subsequent videos but just remember that you know it's null here the value here is null the values here is null when I, mean, I would say like now the value is not given okay so meaning that when you configure this column you can also configure that this column can accept null values which means that it can accept rows of data where there are no values okay and this column right you don't want to have a, a, a null value here because the way it looks this column uh, is very important so this column can be configured as not null meaning that you have to enter you have to have some value here like you know if someone comes and inserts a uh, data uh, right you know dog and then some birth date some calories and null and then null here it doesn't make sense because the way uh, mr. McDonald uh, organizes uh, his animals he seems to have give some name to the animals so there should be some name here so uh, 
to uh, e e so that you know in order to in order to make sure that you know no that uh, a wrong r row is not inserted uh, you know this column can be configured as not null meaning that whenever you insert any row this has to have some value into it okay so these are the additional uh, attributes or the additional uh, uh, elements that form the structure of table okay so in the last video we saw that a table would have a table will have columns and rows but then again uh, now we are also going a little bit deeper into that and we are exploring uh, that each and every column has some attributes or some uh, characteristics attached to the to it uh, one would be the type of the column like you now whether it can hold uh, text or number or anything else there are some other uh, type called binary uh, i'll talk about those talk about that later and then uh, date column uh, and then uh, the numbers everything is there okay uh, these type uh, would ensure that uh, incorrect values are not stored into a table okay so these are the the the, uh, the additional uh, details uh, of the structure of the table thank you for watching this and if you have any question please feel free to leave a comment thanks